My talk starts in six minutes, so while waiting, you can try challenging my code snippet. What does it output? Without running your code. I move to the next slide. So if you want to try, please take a photo in the thank you. Okay? My concern today is that <coughs> I have sore throat. And when I practiced, it took about 70 minutes until the end to talk, so I have to speak very quick, but yeah, let's see. minutes left until I start. Um, I have, I'm curious, um, since I guess everybody here are Rubyist, um, is there anybody who have never used local variable? Is there a hand if you have never <laughs> used local variable? Okay, so everybody is using local variable. Next question, um, do you fully understand local variable? If you completely understand local variable, please raise your hand. Okay, so this is, <laughs> this talk makes sense. I love Ruby that you can write this kind of code. This is just five lines of Ruby code. Like technically, it's like two two lines, so it should be it shouldn't be harder. So you know the answer, right? Uh, do you think the answer is Ruby, or do you think the answer to be Gim? Yes, shout if you are sure. Say again. Gim? So you bet this to be Gim. Let's try that. I will run it, okay? Gim. Yes, you're right. You won. <laughs> With warning. <laughs> It start here, write it here, enter it here, capture the current continuation here, return beyond the method, so come here, and continue, continue, continuation call is string bin, so string bin is the return value of this one, so this return bin and string, and the bracket bin, string, string bin with string bin, return to bin, so it's bin. Play with local bus. I'm going to play with local bus literally. So this was my uh, talk abstract published in the Ruby Kai official website. And at the bottom line says, uh, this presentation is inside the Vim, so like uh, I can this is like literally Vim. I'm using showtime.vim for this presentation. I'm using quickland.vim to execute a code like this. Or um, this is empty uh, empty buffer. I have set file type to Ruby. Um, if I type something, and when I trigger Ruby um, quick run, I I assign this to be space R. So when I type space R, David David save the current buffer into a temporary file and execute the file and output here. This is pretty handy. You can also put sleep here. Oops. Yeah, this runs asynchronously, so you can do something. I was too long, okay, never mind. Okay, so that's my presentation too. Let me introduce myself. Hello everyone, I'm Tatsuhiro Ogisa, nice to meet you. Um, 
just call me Uji or Ujihisa. I'm not, like, I'm definitely not the strong, like, Ruby, Rubyist. I'm probably the weakest Rubyist in the Ruby Kaiji. I only have, like, minor contribution to Ruby. I guess the biggest contribution to the software development was actually, my, like, my biggest achievement was, like, probably, like, hosting Ruby Kai, uh, not Ruby Kai, sorry, hosting VimConf, but, yeah. So that, I'm, 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 I'm just a normal person. <laughs> so, normal space person, okay? <laughs> Um, my past talks, at, so I've done Ruby Kaigi talk in 2008 and 2009, and also like two years ago about, about, about lightning talk. And first year I talked like, about many topics, including Vim. And sec second year I talked only about Vim. And two years ago I talked only about Vim in Ruby Kaigi. And here, in this year, I'm actually making first Ruby talk in Ruby Kaigi. <laughs> So I'm really nervous today. <laughs> I'm working at Quipper, um, this Quipper company. Quipper is a, com a company. Um, uh, in, in Quipper, I'm making, I'm writing some Ruby on Rails application. It's a very complicated one, with including some Elixir microservice. I'm writing Elixir as well. Quipper is a company like, started in UK, London. It's an education service that like, serves serves Ruby on Rails uh, that serves like, education system in you know, Ruby on Rails. The system, the product is called Creeper and in Indonesia, Philippines, Mexico, and it is also called Study Sapri in Japan for the marketing reasons. So they are the same product, it's Creeper. And importantly, we are hiring. Please visit to the second floor and the sponsor booth, but it's probably too late to mention. Yeah, I, work, I live in Vancouver and Tokyo. So um, my favorite feature, my favorite Ruby features are like this. Um, so as, as the initial challenge mentioned, Ruby is very dynamic. You can return from the, in the default parameter and use continuation to come back here. I love continuation. I don't think yes, um, there are many programming languages that have continuation. Uh, schema and Ruby and you can use list other languages that have continuation. It's not very popular. But I love that. I love default parameter. I love like putting complicated things in default parameter, and I love flip flop operator, which is actually duplicated, um, and local bar as well. Actually, I'm using local. I, I'm only using local bar for production code bars. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, local bars. So that my talk is like a variation of the concerto. The, I talk only about local bar in a different, uh, with different aspect. The motif I use is x equal one, two, three, and print out it. It's simple. The first topic is local variable. The second topic is about local variable. And guess what third topic is local variable. Okay, so what is Ruby's local variable? Local variable, it has, um, has Two APIs, assign and refer. So you assign a value one, two, three into a local variable x. It's like naming a value one, two, three at x. And then refer, you can refer local variable just by typing the name. So it's pretty simple. Um, method parameter, this is also local variable. By calling method f with argument one, two, three, this is a value, the x. In the parameter, it becomes a local variable x, and this, in this x has one, two, three in the runtime. So this, this code will output one, two, three. A block parameter as well, the pipe. And as you know, like numbered parameters are available, and there are some special local. Oh. Oops. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Sp spare local variable as well. And Ruby, um, local variable has scope. I will revisit this data. Okay, um, do you know eval, right? Like, I, I can assume you, everybody knows eval. The eval is like, it's to execute a Ruby call as a, given as a string and just do it. Oops, I deleted it accidentally. So this works obviously, right? And you can wrap these two lines into eval. This also works, that's good. You can wrap the uh, local variable reference part into eval as well. So this works too, that's good. 
However, this does not work. This raises name error. Undefined local variable or method x. That's the second line. The eval with just with first argument string is like roughly same to eval with second argument binding or binding dot eval. In this talk, you can just think binding is just um, a set of lo current local variable with a current bind current in a current scope. There's a method called binding to get the current by at least of local variable in the bind wrapped in the binding object. Precisely speaking, it's not, but, but let's, let's say it's, 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 that it's like so. Binding also provides other APIs, local variable get to refer local variable directory, but this is basically same to eval x without method call, if, that, if only if there's method called x. Local variable set as well, you can assign. Um, this is very handy, you can list up all local variable in the binding as well. So this, you have these APIs. So the previous example, eval x equal one, two, three, and eval px, but like, like consider what like Ruby took like the eval, two lines of eval like this way. Takes the current binding and run eval in the binding, and then takes another current binding and run eval there, and this didn't work. Because the x equal one, two, three was actually only available inside here. Let's see that. Ah, yeah, never mind. Let me copy to another buffer first. Yeah. So, yeah, um, B1 has X. Well, where is where, uh, B2 does not have X? So, the solution is just to reuse the same binding. This works. Yeah, this works. That's good. So far, so good. Okay, next question. This doesn't work. Why? This related name error, undefined local variable or method x. Uh, this question, uh, there are some equivalent questions to this one. You have a file, that, like, let's say file A, which has x equal one, two, three, in a single file. And you require the file, like expecting you to, be, you to get local variable x and px. This does not work, it's the same reason, because require is basically the same to load, and which is basically the same, not exactly the same, but basically the same to like read the Ruby source code and just evaluate. Say, um, as I said, eval x equal one, two, three, does not work. This also does not work. The local variable is scoped in the um, file, and also even with eval, this doesn't help you. On the other hand, the, all the other variables, instance variable, class variable, constant, constant is of course variable, right? Constant and global variable, this works. Yeah, this works. This works with nice warning. This works, and of course this works. Yeah, and you can also define a method in eval. eval. Um, at px looks like x is local variable, this is method, and this works. This is good, but not local variable. Local variable is an exception. A short answer why is that local variable are static. Like it's lexical, and it's extremely static. I love Ruby's dynamic feature, like def. You know that def is not to uh, define a method on a compile time, but def define a method when it's evaluated. Like it's runtime. Everything happens at runtime. You don't even have to create a method in advance when you call method. You can just do method missing, and you can also use const missing to define a constant, which is actually common, like very common for loading libraries automatically. Most of the variables in the Ruby is object oriented. Like you always have concept of current self, um, class variable, uh, instance variable considers like inheritance. There are some lexical things. It is local feature, local variable, 
um, nested class con constant and refinement, as I remember. There must there may be more about yeah here. I also magic comment as well. Um, I think Matt carefully designed Ruby to be indistinguishable between local variable to method. Like when you see f, you cannot tell if f is a local variable or method. So I uh, guess where the previous example f is determined to be a local variable, like where Ruby detects it, like an identifier, identifies the like name f to be a local variable. I'm pretty sure you have seen this like, uh, diagram in a Ruby kind many times. Is it in a lexing time, parsing time, compile time, or runtime? Run Again, uh, most of the things happen at runtime. So let's see. Uh, Reaper, I'm pretty sure you have seen Reaper in Ruby Kai, but provides Lex to tokenize the code. So let's try that. This will tokenize these two lines of string given to the Lex method. And that will output X to be an identifier. So this doesn't help you, so let's keep going. Reaper S expression. Let's see how, what does it output. This provides var f. Oh, that's good. So x is uh, variable reference. Reaper X S expression that doesn't know that x is already a uh, local variable. Let's see. Uh, Ruby BM ST as well. Since I type this many, like a lot, I can I can write Ruby VM abstract syntax tree just by typing AST. Yeah, so as the result says that the two lines of code are passed as uh, L assign X with detail one, two, three, and F call P with an argument with, which is L bar X. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Ruby VM abstract syntax tree also provides awesome API called OV that you can you don't have you, you can pass block. So this works. And this says X to be X to be D bar. Um, you might have noticed that this is not L bar but D bar, but let's let's keep going. This is variable X is variable. Ruby also provides um uh, command line option to dump pass three. Like this. You can just type P as well. This also works. This will output the abstract syntax tree of the given file. So X, you can see X is the variable. But if you don't have this line, X is V call. <laughs> it's a function call. So far, so good. Oh, by the way, uh, the Ruby version I'm using is, of course, Two days. Let's see Isaac as well. We, uh, we already know that the Ruby determines local variable to be in a, in a parsing time, but it's just in case, let's see Isaac too. So Isaac say X is get local X, so this is calling method P with local variable X. Isaac provides different API as well. Compile string given compile given source code into Isaac and X is local variable. Yeah, that's good. Let's see. Isaac also pro provide uh, different alternative representation, not in a string string, but in an array which has uh, certain I which has a certain item of in a single array with first array I first item simple data format and has have like some magical stuff inside here. This looks handy. And X is get local. Yeah, so the sum current summary, these are the APIs to provide see the uh, abstract syntax tree and ISEC for like uh, getting the like how Ruby see the code. Okay, uh, can I ask a question to make sure you are following me because I'm going pretty fast. Uh, how many local bars are there? Can you count the number of local variables? I, by the way, this X and this X are different. Can you shout? Four, five, six, eight, seven. <laughs> this is hard to tell, so let me count. So 
this is x in the top level, whereas this x overrides x, so they are, same, they are same. This is another x. This is also another x. This will create, this will shadow another like, local variable. So one, two, three, four, five. This does not. These y are same, of course. Six. So the answer is six. You're right. But this is not, <laughs> this doesn't make sense to count local variable by human. This should be counted by script, so I just made a script to count local variables. Of course. Yeah, count local, this is pretty trivial. Just you run isec compile 2a to, um, to make the array representation and just check the tens item which has a list of local variable and just uh, traverse the tree. That's pretty trivial, right? And the answer is six. Know that two days ago, uh, Ruby has, now has pattern matching. This is a very nice example to use pattern matching, so I rewrote this one. Yeah, so this is pattern matching example. First item is a simple data format, and tenth item is a local variable, and thirteenth item has children. <laughs> this totally makes sense. <laughs> that the answer is six. That's good. Good morning. Anyways, <laughs> let's go back to the original topic. How many minutes do I have? Yeah, I still have a couple minutes, okay. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> um, this does not work again because x is local variable stat statically period. Like on the runtime, x is local variable. Uh, x is method call, so this does not work. So how can we change? But before changing, let's like, make sure we are understanding completely. So I said local variable has to have two APIs, assign and defer. But that's okay, wrong, I told a lie. Assign is split, split it into declare and set. First time when you assign a local variable, um, that will declare a local variable x and set the value. So that this line is, does not only as, like, set x to be one, two, three, but this also adds x to local, var local variable table when you pass. By the way, the declare happens at the parsing time and set time happens when no, run, the runtime. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, there are many ways to set, like modify local variable. Assignment, or well, assignment is inside the eval, or bind, use local variable set in the binding. And this is pretty handy. Like basically you can take, you can like, steal binding of any, anywhere with using a trace point. So, like, as the lightning talk yesterday, and the quick set mentioned that this can happen. Because stress point can override the temp value. This is pretty trivial. So, making change in the local variable is, uh, changing the local variable value is pretty easy. And how can we declare, again, this happened at comp compile, uh, this happened when Ruby parses. So, assignment, like M assign, op assign, and write assign, which will really be introduced in a couple of years. This will declare local variable. Not that this is completely different. This is method call, so don't get confused with them. This and they are different, but they are basically same. They are friends. Okay. Um, the parameters where these, these are also to way to declare local variable. This scope. Let me ask you a challenge again. Can you declare local variable without using the assign? Uh, there are, uh, spoiler, there are four ways to do that. Can you shout? Say again? I, I already mentioned that. Not def, sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, besides assign and def, sorry. Yeah, and block parameters as well. Say, say. Say again. That's assigned, so it doesn't count. Hint. Say again. Block, no, block doesn't. Hint. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> so 
three more, three more. Three more. Yes, pattern matching. Yes, pattern matching. And did you say something? Yes, rescue. Yeah, this declare, sorry. Um, yeah, this, this is fine. Yeah, so you successfully assign uh, declare x with value runtime error. Yes, um, one more. No, no, pure Ruby code. If not, if it doesn't. Three, two, one, zero. Say, say. Catch? No. Catch is block. The answer is regular expression. Okay, so there are many ways to declare a local variable. <laughs> and this is 50 stage. And local variable, again, local variable declaration happens at the past, past time. So you don't have to run it. This is totally fine. This is totally legit way to declare a local variable. The x is local variable. Like this, okay? This line. Declares local variable, even though it doesn't execute, it really doesn't execute anything. X is new, of course. Note that when Ruby compiles, the ISEC optimization removes if false part, so this line completely disappears in the ISEC. So this only call P with local variable X is default value new. So the solution to make this work is to add x equal to 9. This number doesn't make sense. You can put anything if false. This line, we fix that problem. I love these three lines of color. This is beautiful. <laughs> so this doesn't work, but this works. Note that this can, the, this is ha fine, it, even after eva. That's totally fine. But this is not fine because x, oh, sorry, x is not, uh, this, oh, well, never mind, yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> so yeah, summary so far. Did you understand local variables are static? Yes, no, no? Okay, yeah, okay, some people say yes, so it should be fine. <laughs> Another way, uh, even without adding the if false line, is to make a proxy method. Um, so def will split the local variable scope by define method with block, block shadows, so you can still refer the x inside the block. So just make a method missing with define method, with capturing the current binding, which includes the outside one. So it, with this one, the, um, you can refer a local variable over file. Like you can, if, if, if you store this in a defined file and requiring the file, you can refer the like, local variable as method. This, like you can make method as proxy. But I guess that's kind of messy, like providing method missing here. This is not a good way. Like I'm a good programmer, so let's think alternative way. Um, the, for finding alternative way, there are many hints. Just the AST transformation. <laughs> so um, RubyVM ISEC provides awesome API. Basically, this is a coach gift for everybody. That hey, like you can modify ISEC on the runtime when you re before require. So let's say, let's put something. Um, 
Oops, sorry, I already had that file. Never mind. Yeah. So I have a file called a.rb, which has e bar x equal 1, 2, 3, and bx, which, of course, does not work. But For some reason, this line is required. You can inject ISEC, uh, load printing ISEC for require. So yeah, this the skill fails, but this will also print out the ISEC. So by modifying ISEC here, you can make the, this file work. Let's try that. But unfortunately, the ISEC does not provide a way to modify ISEC dynamically. Uh, ISEC provides two binary and from binary to mod like, uh, but it's very hard to modify the binary format. So let's see how can we try providing a ST transformation. So it's very hard to modify ISEC directly. Um, you cannot compile from AST to ISEC, even though you can modify AST, you can kind of modify ST. So the solution is to um, um, is to like when you is to add a hook here to get the original file and compile uh, and pass to make AST and create another uh, string based on AST and then do the same approach again to create IS, IS, ISEC. That should work fine. Like it's pretty trivial. So let's try that. So like modify this to uh, modify PX to P false question X equal to 9 colon X. They are equivalent. Uh, at runtime, if, if x is local variable. If x is not defined as local variable, this is passed as v call x is p, but um, this compares to um, l bar or b bar x. So let's try that. Um, uh, this is pretty hard to implement quickly, so I, I have a code simplex here. I'm sorry. So yeah, um, hook before require to get ISEC and make AST and traverse AST tree. The traverse is helped right here to see if there's V core. V core is basically a uh, like something like this, something like this without parentheses. So you'll be seeing this as to this to be method method call without parentheses. So modify any V core to. So it's harder to see, but yeah, this. Okay? And this worked. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So it's pretty easy, right? Just by adding a couple of lines here, that will work. But it's still not great because you have to have a, like, you have to make a, another file to use this file. You want to run this file directly. So uh, let's try modifying current environment. So let's try making a patch to Ruby to change the behavior. Okay. Okay, I have um, like a empty code. Uh, which file should I edit? I have 10 minutes left. Can you tell me which file should I edit to make to change local to change V code to Elba? Kaneko san? Which file should I edit to make change uh, to, to change uh, how Ruby parses local variable? Yes, pass by. So let's edit pass by. <laughs> There's a handy func C function called the git table, which find Basically, it's used to find if my identifier is self, new, true, false, or vehicle, or local variable. So let's try changing this file. Uh, <laughs> so if local, if identifier is not line, identifier is not internal, I don't know what's internal, so let's delete that. Internal is 
I did not see that. Um, so car, and this is not in block, it is, it is in a block, this is diva, and if it's next parameter, if it's Elga, and otherwise, it's vehicle. So let's try changing this line. Uh, Elba, compile it. Just run make all. Oh, this failed because uh, generic gener generic ERB file complains that uh, line 22, um, something is wrong. So I broke something here, so let's fix that. Uh, so I have to scope the change. How can, how, how can I scope the change, like further change? Magic comment, yes. I, 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 I said by myself, use magic comment. You know, magic comment, right? Like frozen string. So like say, uh, dynamic docker, but like name, oh yeah, this is good, but let's just change this one. Like this. Uh, the indentation for some reason doesn't work for further. And, and let's define this one. Uh, Frozen string. Okay, so let's just copy this one. Okay, and let's uh, copy this function too. Uh, okay, <laughs> I have I still have more. And then, uh, okay, let's copy this one. Make or install. My Ruby is actually this Ruby, so I'm always using to using trunk. I have seven minutes. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try that. It's compiled. So uh, this does not work, of course, right? And then if if I add the oh, by the way, let's make sure I'm using proper Ruby version. I'm using Ruby, yeah, today's Ruby, okay. I got error, I still got error. Okay, <laughs> let's fix that. <laughs> 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 and so, um, I changed to exchange x to be local variable, but I didn't put to the local table, so let's add to local table. Uh, uh, Table, table, okay, LB table, this one, maybe this one, okay, and then B table included. <laughs> uh, not this one. Uh, uh, let's see assignment part. Okay, this is called node assign, and uh, this is not helpful. Yeah, let's see node assign. Okay, node assign is, many many uses, okay, this one. Node assign is calling something, let's just try call, calling the same function. Oh, this is not helpful. Uh, <laughs> this one? Okay, this one, okay, no, this is not useful. Uh, let's, oh, okay, oh, uh, no, this is different. Let's see, pattern matching. Okay, okay yeah, this is pattern matching to find the local variable, and, oh, yeah, no, this one, assignable, let's see, assignable. Uh, maybe this is a wrong way to find it, but let's see, PBL. <laughs> V table size, oh, this is, this makes a problem. Yeah. No, no, there are so many functions. Why do we have so many functions in part Y? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like push local bar? Uh, dynamic local, oh, no, this is defined. This is the one I implemented. Local push? No. Maybe this one? No, this will add another scope. Local pop? No. Local bar? Oh, yeah. Local bar. <laughs> it should be it, right? Because it's local bar. Uh, uh, dynamic. The file is so big. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one. Okay, let's come back. So, uh, I have P and ID, so let's just call it P and ID. Let's compare it. I have four minutes left. So, yeah, of course this does not work, and um, let's see. This worked. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
Just some warning, but let's forget about that. <laughs> uh, warning is because the V enables the like warning sign. So the warning trigger this one. So let's just si make, make it silent. This worked. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty easy to make change in pass by, right? Yeah, so, ah, uh, yeah, that's my talk. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, you notice there yeah, that's draft, so no worries. Yeah, I was trying to make change also in JLB, but I didn't have enough time. <laughs> yeah, we done some like JLB further like patches. So, oh yeah, if you have five like fifty thousand local variable with that does nothing, that will take like nine seconds, and uh, MG will be slow, even slower. Yeah, do not have many local variables. <laughs> Yeah, they are not. Yeah, yeah, nothing special. <laughs> Any other questions? I, I guess Kaneko san stood up to other. It took like, uh, it, took, it, it, it didn't take many time. I think it took only like uh, a month. <laughs> <laughs> but not much. Which page was that? Was it? Okay, around here. Yeah, this one. You should be able to do that, but compile file is against. Um, require and eva, right? So um, you cannot do in the same, you cannot do current file. Uh, so you can, you can, yeah, th yeah, this is fine, yeah. So, uh, you can also modify like, any method there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically we are talking about the same thing. That's good. Yeah, you're welcome. And, um, I was going to ask another question, but I guess the time is over. No? Okay, so yeah, I guess you can. Uh, if this didn't work, did you plan on writing your own Ruby virtual machine? <laughs> yeah, that that be a, actually a fun challenge. <laughs> yeah, but as I mentioned in the title, this was actually uh, I, I'm, I'm giving a serious talk. Um, this title play is actually uh, this is how I learn things. Like when I learn things, I cannot understand the things written at the specification. I can only learn things by destroying, like by modifying, like by making changes. That's how, uh, how I learned Ruby, binding, things like that. So my goal is already like, achieved. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thing. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, that's the point. <laughs> yeah, that's, thank you. <laughs>